Hi, it's John. It's the 2nd of July and soft fruit all over the place. Uh, here's some raspberries. Everybody seems to like raspberries, so that's good. So everything's doing quite well. The rhubarb is uh, doing rather well, fantastically well. Not so diseased this year as normal. And it's been getting quite a lot of uh, worm juice. So that uh, might be doing it some good. The asparagus bed has uh, it's finally sort of taken off. That's been getting some worm juice as well. Oh, it's got some cleavers in there, has it? You get in raspberries, you get cleavers coming up. You get uh, bindweed, don't you? And you get, what else do you get in there? Oh, stinging nettles all coming up in it. Hmm. My grandfather always used to say he loved watching people work. <laughs> there is something rather satisfying about watching people work, isn't there? <laughs> the Zen of housework. <laughs> Who was saying that on the telly? Oh, it was uh, John Seymour in that book, wasn't it? The Zen of doing washing up. Enjoy tedious tasks. A bit of a cop out, really, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is better than washing up. There's not many raspberries there, though, well, not just there. But we've got a lot down the allotment, and. Um, you found one? I expect you'll eat that, won't you? <laughs> this is like pick your own, eat, eat as many as you, um, as you pick. Oh, look at that lot. That's the thing about. Um, these, uh, but they're, they're like autumn bliss raspberries, these are, I think, but I haven't cut them back. So if you don't cut them back, they, they behave like a summer fruiting raspberry. But the thing about autumn bliss is that they, um, all, all the fruits are sort of hidden down below. Uh, you know, you don't see them at the top, and then you part the, part the waves and, and they're all down there. So that's good. So we're going to pick some soft fruit before the um, before it gets too hot. Yeah, the sweet Sicily has done really well, hasn't it? And it's got some nice seed pods on there as well, hasn't it? Good. Collect some seed. Sell it on eBay. Yeah, there's always plenty of work to do, isn't there? You know, cut the hedge, make the wine. That's that's life, though. You have to sort of uh, get used to having a lot of things that you ought to be doing all the time, but you're never quite going to get round to, isn't it? Oh, I don't want to get depressed. That's then life becomes a complete waste of time, doesn't it? Oh well, well I'm down the allotment now, so we're getting a fair number of raspberries. Um, they've done quite well down here, but everything's got to about six foot high. Brambles, docks, grass, but uh, the raspberries have managed to survive. And they're about five foot high, aren't they, Helen? Jerusalem artichoke doing well. They're at six foot high already. So they're the red ones I planted there. But uh, as I said in a previous video, it's a bit like wild gardening this year. Yes. <laughs> <It's just so laughs> like being in the woods. <laughs> being in the woods, well, that's nice, isn't it? Because mm. you hated this pot, didn't you? When we had to dig up those potatoes. That was horrible. It's ghastly, wasn't it? In that in that mud. Mmm. Oh yeah. In the sticky mud. 
nightmare, wasn't it? Mm. How many raspberries you got? Many? That many. There's some big ones. You haven't been eating them, have you? Why has it been going on? <laughs> Just the occasional. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Got enough blackberries to not uh, black currants to um, keep us for a lifetime, I think, haven't we? Don't know. I what find some workers. You find, find some workers. Yes, yeah, so we've got a worker coming around this afternoon, haven't I?